Okay, the program we'll be using it's VTuber Maker and VTuber Editor. You have to download two of those uh, at the same time, but in the future there will be other programs as well, so I'll keep updating the description for that. Whatever program you'll be using, it's the same thing. You just capture your avatar and you'll be, be able to use it to elsewhere, but this one we're only talking about uh, to be able to stream and make video. 3D avatar is not the same as 2D avatar. We already covered 2D avatar with uh, our previous video. You can see the link there uh, with VTube Studio. Uh, that was for 2D avatar. 3D can potentially be used for VRs. So in that page, uh, what you'll do, you'll register an account. And after you make your account, because that's a common mistake that people don't say the program does not work, but because they don't register an account. So make an account first. And while you're downloading uh, both of those, you can look at the pricing here you have for that program. It's free. Uh, it's free, but it's limited, of course. So you only have uh, one ha custom avatar you can have at the same time. So you won't be able to change during your stream or your video. So you have the limited commercial host there. Okay, I gotta watch out for that too. So we'll be using the free one and just to get our set of setup. And after that, you can always upgrade if you want, if you like that program. So here we are now in the program in VTuber Maker. That's my uh, <laughs> that's my whole avatar here. <laughs> Hi friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll set up everything there and yeah. So then after that, when you select an avatar, uh, one of the default, you can go scenes and you'll go, you can go background and you'll go color. In the demo, we did the uh, yellow, but you can also do green for the classic. But like I said, if you you if you have, a, if your custom avatar, let's say you pick one custom avatar, a default avatar and it's all green, uh, just pick yellow. <laughs> so that's the first thing. After that, you have to go into your uh, broadcasting software. You'll have a new source, a game capture. I call it a VCAM. Then after that, uh, after making it, you have to add a filter. You'll have to add a filter for uh, car, uh, chroma key. So you have the uh, chroma key and you select the color that you choose in your background and your program. Then with the yellow, uh, that's what we'll be using. And after that, you move the first slider so until you don't remove your character there. Uh, not too much so that we, we lose a character, but enough that we remove the, the yellow there. Seems good, right? Seems good, not much yellow left there. After that, you close and boom, you have your avatar there. You got your green screen done, boom. But you can also do transparent. So you switch to the white background in your uh, VTuber Maker. Then uh, in OBS, you'll have to you'll have to check auto transparency. When a auto transparency is checked, because without allowing the transparency, you see the white screen. With auto transparency, the, green, the white screen is removed there. That's another way to achieve that with transparency there. But whatever works for you, usually the green screen works better, but transparency is another way to do it. And also, as always, if you have problem with anything, uh, you can always uh, hop in the, into the official Discord too, or even ask me in the comment below there. The idea be behind the virtual camera is because you can use it for, for, for doing calls. If you want to call people, you're not streaming or not making video, you can use a virtual broadcast to do that. So that's the thing. Uh, and you activate the virtual broadcast. You click that on, you install it. After that, you'll add a new video capture device. After that, you click property. And it will be VTuber Maker Virtual Camera that you select there. That's another way to do it. So the next thing that you can do is uh, enhance your, uh, your tracking there with, uh, with, with the webcam here. That's what we did there. We turned that on. How do you set up your webcam? You go into the option device and your video input device whatever camera you're using you put that down here and then after that uh, when you aren't tracking you turn everything on uh, you don't need to do the display and webcam theme calibrate is always good to do at the beginning of your uh, every time you open the application so you get uh, the camera f uh, returned to the middle so everything is uh, at the right location instead of your physical location so just calibrate okay. wait every time you open your uh, application the fact we have facial, facial tracking and tracking upper body. So the tracking is pretty good uh, in this application. So you can do winks there. And when you talk, uh, the characters follow your mouth. So but that's uh, the lip syncing, but whatever. So you, you, you understand that uh, it's pretty... Uh, with webcam, it, it, allows, it has a, little, a lot of feature, feature there to, to, to get uh, better quality from your video there. If you have end tracking, you'll have uh, you'll go into the tab delete motion, 
So for Leap Motion Controller, you'll need to buy one. Um, at the time of making this video, this Leap Portrait Controller is this one from uh, Ultra Leap, UltraLeap.com, tracking. And you can find out what to buy it on Amazon and elsewhere. And that's pretty much it. So you, you know, there's like two ways to, to do it. So you turn that on and you either do end mount or flat on desk. So usually it's end mount, VR set, or you can always do a deck, which I do not have, but it has a little something. The widget is, uh, you can drag the widget around if you want. If you want to go full browser, you can bring the that here, uh, that avatar widget there and drag it. That's another thing you can do for if you go browser mode. That's pretty much what it has. What it has. Basically, that's pretty much what, what everything you have in uh, VTuber Maker. But we want to go a little bit one step further, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's body rotation. If you drag your, your mouse here, you can rotate your character here. That's the thing you can do too, because it's 3D, 3D avatar. So that's the body rotation we can do. Uh, lens zoom, we can zoom in, zoom out. And after that, at the bottom, you have some quick action you can do. The, the common that I've been using here, so you have shift control O there, there you go. Uh, those keys are over here in the quick panel. That's the same thing that I just did there. If you want to use hot keys, you can always use a stream deck to program them. And so you don't have to click on your keyboard to do your command. So we already covered that. So you can check the, we can, you can check that link there, there on the top there to see if you're, if you want to your home stream deck and be able to do it uh, with your phone. That's what I did. And in VTuber Editor, that's where you can uh, upload your character and also add some uh, custom uh, emotion and gesture. I have one slot for your avatar. Whatever your avatar you have, is that's where you upload it. And VRM uh, format works with uh, VTuber Maker. Uh, that's the current format for uh, 3D avatar, the VRM format. After that, you'll click uh, at the top here. You'll click sync to VTuber Editor. And that's all it pretty much done. In the flow, that's where you can uh, do custom stuff there. You'll name it, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, you had an event and usually I use when entering Cree, but you see that you have some option there. So by default, they give you that, but well, you can change the hotkeys. Let's say I want uh, A instead of Q because we already use Q for this one. And we can always remove this one with uh, backspace. Start body action. And which body action do you want, Liz? So here's our dab here. And lower body plus A seems good. Let's see if it works. Boom, there you go. That's what we did earlier. You can tie stuff too, just like they did in the first example. You'll have a width there. And after that, when you're done, you're synced to VTuber Maker as, as we did with uh, your uh, avatar. And that's pretty much it for uh, VTuber Editor. So you, you can do some gesture over there and you can, so that's where you change your avatar as well. <laughs> you have to click on and there you go. After that, you close that and you press your key there. And you have your dab. And also, when you're using uh, uh, your hotkeys in an action, so you might have to toggle back your program. That's another thing to keep in mind there. So, VTuber Maker wise, we covered everything. So, now we'll go into the part that the, how do I get my uh, 3D avatar now? So, first thing first, you can always draw it yourself with uh, an artist program like uh, uh, Clip Studio Paint there. That's uh, that's for harder artists there. That's uh, one of the options you have there. Uh, so you have your concept art pretty much that you that you draw. After that, you want it to you want to make it in three D. So you have Blender that is free. Uh, we usually will uh, use someone to do it for us. So you can uh, just in live three D the site we use for VTuber Maker and VTuber Editor that we downloaded earlier. So if you want an avatar there. Uh, they want to you want to commission someone so those are easy to get but they can get it very expensive uh, a more easier way to do it is go on Twitter or any social platform at a time look for someone that can do 3d modeling for you so otherwise if you don't want to spend uh, at the time of making the video uh, we had v run mobile which is available on the on the mobile and we covered it at the top there already so you can check that link there if you're interested so you kind of see, you, can, you you pretty much change the color and stuff of the cloth, so pretty easy. So another option you have is VR Studio. It's a little bit more complicated, but I won't talk about it because uh, it will make this video forever. But basically, they have a preset character there, and you can change pretty much like you did in VR Mobile. It's a little bit more complicated than VR Mobile, but it gets you can have more you have more customization. Uh, 
in VR Studio, do, especially if you're an artist, you can draw stuff yourself. So instead of doing it yourself, uh, you can always download it on Bootbeam, one of the websites you can download that. And you type reboard and whatnot. So that's it. That's it for me. Bye bye, everyone. There you go. Until next time.